Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and today I wanted to talk a little bit about clothing. Clothing, clothes sizes, what happens when you go into a shop and your mind takes over and why clothing label sizes are totally irrelevant. First of all, if you haven't already, then please do download my five step cheat sheet, which is focused on helping you ditch the diet and regain total control of your life, freeing up so much space for all the things that are actually important to you, not dieting. Clothes, clothing, fashion, oh my goodness, there is so much to talk about on this topic. I remember the days where I would go shopping, normally with my mum because that was our time together, and it would end in tears, quite literal tears, because I would try a piece of clothing on and it wouldn't be the size that I wanted it to be and I would use that against myself. I used it as a kind of, um, I don't really know how to word it, I used it kind of as a um, tool to prove to myself that I wasn't as good as I should be and to beat myself up basically and I'm sure when I know from talking to clients and to people that they have felt the same way. Now, when you go shopping, the easiest way for shops to sell an item to you and for our minds to work is to categorize it into um, this may fit, this may not fit because it would be pretty hard to go into a shop and guess without a guideline. And that's how our minds work. We make up these schemas, we make up these little, um, filing cabinets of sense and we make sense of the world in that way. So when you walk into a shop and you want to be, let's say, a size 10 and you try on a piece of clothing that is a size 10 and it doesn't fit you quite in the way that you want it to fit, why do we not just go out and get the next size? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do know. I do know because we, like I said before, we're using it as a um, weapon against ourselves. We don't have the respect for ourselves and we don't have the trust in ourselves to um, believe that that number doesn't mean anything. Your mind has told itself when you're a particular size, it's no good for you or you're not worthy or um, you're ugly or you're stupid or all these horrible things that come into your mind but it actually doesn't mean anything. So how do you overcome it? When you walk into a store and you associate your worth with a particular size, that is not beneficial to you in any way at all. Just as you wouldn't expect to walk into a shoe shop and for every size I'm a size five, so I'm gonna use size five as an example. I wouldn't expect to walk into a shoe shop and expect every size five to fit my foot because some shoes are different, some materials are different, etc., etc. So by assigning all of this value and emotion and worth, self-worth on a number that can change from store to store and within store from item of clothing to item of clothing, it really, really, really messes with your mind. So, how do we overcome it? Well, the best way to overcome it is to work on how you feel within the clothes. So, don't even look at the clothing label. Or, if you do look at the clothing label, take it as it is, trust yourself for the time that you're trying the item of clothing on, and look at yourself in a way of, does this item of clothing look good on me? Do I feel as though it fits me in the right way? Do I feel confident in this piece of clothing? Is this piece of clothing telling the world what I want them to know about myself? Because clothing is a really important um, way of portraying our own 
personality and character. And especially if you're assigning this kind of value to a, cl a clothing size, then it's more likely that you're using the clothing to portray who you are as a person because who you are as a person wants to be this particular size, for example. So you're gonna try the piece of clothing on and you're just going to, you're going to experience it in your body for a few minutes. And by that, what I mean is you're going to look at, uh, is it comfortable to wear? Can you bend over? Can you move your arms in it? Does it practically work for you? Does it emotionally work for you? Aside from the, the tag, the label that is on it, the size, because that's not what we're looking at the minute. We're just looking at, do I feel represented by this point, uh, piece of clothing? And does it fit me how it should or how I want it to? How I want it to, aside from the size. So it's, it's a difficult one to kind of get across, but you've got to just look at it for how you want it to fit. If it said size eight, 10, 12, 14, a size that you were happy with, would you be happy with the fit if it was that size? And then if it does and you like it, buy it. Because what happens when you wear something that makes you feel good is you carry yourself in a different way. And when you carry yourself in a different way, you start to respect yourself in a different way. And when you start to respect yourself in a different way, you start to treat your body differently. And that's what the cycle, the kind of sphere of self-love that we're trying to promote. Because you've either got that vicious circle of, you try on a piece of clothing, you don't like the size that it says on the label, you then downsize, and it fits you uncomfortably, so you prove to yourself that you're not worthy, and then it perpetuates the, I'm going to put myself on a diet, I'm not going to eat this, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to exercise X, Y, Z, and then you let yourself down, you feel guilty for letting yourself down, and it all feeds back onto one of the one another. So with the clothing, what we're trying to do is break that cycle, and feed into, I feel good in what I'm wearing, I look good in what I'm wearing, okay, there's a tag on it that I don't particularly like at this point in time, however, I'm going to trust myself that I know I look good in this. And that's about it, really. And once you start to do this, like I said, you'll perpetuate this positive mental attitude of, I feel good in what I'm doing, I feel good in my body, I want to take care of my body. Please like the video if you found it helpful, share if you have anyone that you know would benefit from this, and subscribe if you wanna. I shall see you on the next video. Ciao for now, bye.